SQL injection. It's one of the oldest and most well-known vulnerabilities exploited by hackers. If you mention SQL injection to a cybersecurity expert, they'll generally roll their eyes because it's so simple and it's been around for so long. But somehow the fundamental issue that leads to SQL injection hasn't been solved. Why? Let's find out how this ancient vulnerability has survived the evolution of the web. Hey folks, welcome to our series on the hidden world of cyber threats. I'm Alex Thomas, and I'm a vulnerability researcher at WordFence. We're here to explore all the ways hackers can exploit your data. Why are we doing this? Because WordPress makes up 40% of the web. Today, we're starting with the infamous SQL injection. Structured Query Language, abbreviated SQL, otherwise known as SQL, is the query language used by most database management systems on the web today. So how exactly does SQL injection work? This is our favorite online shoe store. And like any store, it has a database full of things like shoe names, prices, and inventory. But it also has something more valuable a table of all its users, including their usernames and passwords. Let's do a normal search. I'm looking for a new pair of Defiant shoes. I type Defiant and hit enter. Now, what's happening in the background? The website takes my search term Defiant and builds a command, a SQL query, to ask the database to retrieve information. It's basically saying, hey database, show me the name, price, and image for any shoes that have Defiant in their name and the database responds exactly as it should. Perfect, the system is working as intended. But what if the website's programmers made a mistake? What if they didn't properly sanitize the search box? It means the database might not be able to tell the difference between my search data and the SQL query language. Let's try, this time, I'm going to type something that looks like nonsense, but it's actually a very specific malicious input. I've typed a real search term, but then I've injected some of the SQL or structured query language using the SQL keyword union. I'm telling the database, sure, search for shoes, but also show me the username, password, and email columns from the WP users table. Look at what happens to the command now. The database sees the first part and returns the results, the shoes we're searching for, but then it sees the union keyword. It's now being tricked into grabbing data from a completely different table, the WP users table. That little double dash at the end is a comment. It tells the database to completely ignore anything that comes after it, protecting my injected command from being broken by the rest of the original query. And there it is. The website's layout is still showing me shoes, but my malicious query has forced it to dump the contents of the user table right onto the page. We have usernames, we have passwords, and we have email addresses. It's a complete data breach. And that is SQL injection. It's not about physically breaking into a server room. It's about using the front door, the website's own search bar, to trick the database into giving up its most valuable secrets. SQL injection is old, noisy, and somehow still everywhere. Here are four big breaches and one recent WordPress bug that's been hit in the wild. In 2012, Yahoo Voices got hit. About 450,000 accounts exposed, one bad query, and boom, credentials dumped. 2015, Talk Talk UK. A 17-year-old ran SQL map against an old page and pulled roughly 157,000 customer records. Classic SQL injection. Back in 2011, Sony Pictures, LulzSec walked right in with a single SQL injection on sonypictures.com. Sony later confirmed about 37,500 accounts were exposed. Fast forward to 2016, Epic Games. The attack resulted in the exposure of 252,000 accounts, including usernames, email addresses, and salted MD5 hashes of passwords. Why? Another SQL injection hiding in plain sight. Finally, let's talk about a recent SQL injection in WordPress. In April 2024, Layer Slider, installed on about a million WordPress sites, shipped an unauthenticated SQL injection. Our telemetry shows a real-world exploitation, though the full impact is unclear. This bug was submitted through the WordFence bug bounty program. And that's just a few examples. So how does one bad query become a breach? 
let's break it down. First on our defense list are prepared statements. Unlike queries where user input from the web application is concatenated with a SQL statement, these statements are pre-compiled by the application before they're executed. This means user input is treated as data instead of code. Picture it as color-coded blocks. Next is input validation, an important step in protecting your application from many different vulnerabilities. By verifying the type and format of input data, you can reject potentially harmful entries. For example, if the application is expecting a zip code or phone number in an input, it should allow only numbers. Database abstraction layers, or object relational mapping, provides a layer of abstraction between your code, and these are generally designed to prevent SQL injection by implementing the strategies we just spoke about, like input validation and prepared statements. Lastly, let's talk about web application firewalls, or WAFs, like WorkVents. These act as detectors between your application and incoming internet traffic. They're designed to detect and block requests that match a malicious pattern. It's like having a security guard who ensures all requests are friendly before they reach your application. As an end user or site owner, this is pretty much your only line of protection against SQL injection attacks. When we combine these strategies as developers or end users, we can create a comprehensive shield against SQL injections. Real-world exploitation of SQL injection is complex, but the hacker ethos is to never give up to persist. If these vulnerabilities exist, chances are they will eventually be exploited. But preventing their existence in the first place is simple if you follow these defense in-depth strategies. All right, folks, as we wrap up, let's recap why SQL injection is such a big deal. From a developer perspective, if threat actors gain access to your customers' databases, you may lose trust and credibility. The same is true for WordPress site owners who unintentionally expose customer data, like names, addresses, usernames, and passwords. As an end user, knowing your data was involved in a compromise doesn't feel great either, and may require you to take action to protect yourself from fraud. So if you're a site owner, make sure your WordPress software, plugins, and themes are always up to date, and you're using a web application firewall. Developers, remember to use those prepared statements and keep input validation tight. And for everyone using the web, adopting good security practices like not reusing a password is the way to go. Security is a shared responsibility, and by understanding and protecting against SQL injections, we create a safer online community for everyone. Whether you're a developer, site owner, or end user, WordFence offers a variety of tools for you and your users. Join us next time as we check out cross-site scripting, another critical vulnerability to be aware of. Until then, stay secure.